in slow-mo, seeing it cut through can after can after can, that was pretty cool. Yeah! Max McCarter is a self-taught swordsmith, making weapons that increase your odds of surviving a zombie apocalypse. We were hanging out in a sword shop, and the idea came up, hey, why don't we make swords specifically geared for the zombie apocalypse? Max's online video demonstrates a newly made samurai sword sharpness by slicing 24 zombified beer cans at once. So what is it about Max's sword that lets him cut through beer cans like butter? So it needs to be moving very quickly, and it needs to be very sharp. And he has to do this can after can after can, so the blade needs to be heavy as well to continue the momentum. It also helps that the cans are shaped like a cylinder, because as the blade comes in, the initial point of contact is tiny. Therefore, you have this massive force hitting at a very focused point, so the pressure is enormous. And that's why he can split the can in two. So a super sharp blade with a lot of momentum produces epic pressures on the sword's edge. But how did Max slice through all 24 cans? To transform all the potential energy stored in his muscles into such a straight line and a beautifully conserved velocity, then you have to have an amazing technique. So you have to drive power from your toes and your hips, but without changing your level. And that's the trick to it. Guess it's more dangerous to attack a pressurized can of beer than a zombie, huh? Is there something you're not telling us, Max? I want to reassure our viewers that no beer was harmed in the making of this video. We respect beer. And the beer was drunk, and the cans were empty and filled with water. <laughs>